<laughs> so, so, so here it is. You, you, you jump out there, you start the label, yep. you go, you find T Ferris. Now, T Ferris had a name in the music industry, right? Especially in the Houston hip hop culture. At the time, you go get T Ferris. He's not really active at that time in music. Nah, right? he's damn near homeless. You know hmm. what I'm saying? He's damn near homeless out the game. You know what I'm saying? They moving around with little. He doing a little bullshit shows with Paul Wall here and there, whatever he was doing, and um, you know, so. Shit, man, I came in and tried to save the day for him, you know, and and I had this big plan that me and him, you know, because it was cool. It was like, yo, we had this story about how we played Little League Baseball all together, to, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and came together to do this. Like, the people going to love this story. <laughs> and uh, so it was like the best story that you could ever set up, you know what I'm saying, for yeah. people to like buy into what was going on. And so we decided to do it. And... Um, I just I just went with my move, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay, so now here it is. You got T Ferris. Right. We launched 1501. 2018, you discover Megan the Style. Right. How how did y'all come across uh, Megan, man? And what made it special? Um, uh, well, I tell the story all the time. They I uh, when I retired from baseball, when I was playing baseball, I had no social media or nothing. Okay. Didn't care to have it. I was really extremely private. Um uh, I'm tired from baseball and they say, hey, we don't know how you think you about to uh, be in the music business without social media. Cause I would I still wouldn't get it. And literally somebody took my phone, made me an uh, Instagram page right in that moment. And sh- like a week into it of having Instagram, huh? I see this uh, one girl post Megan and you know, I immediately get on it. Mm. I tell T Ferris. Hey, you know, let's get this girl right here. Let's get her to the label. So I made that a, a huge priority for me. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Pressed him every day about it. And when I didn't hear about it, he called, you know, whoever he called to go catch up with her. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's how that went. Now T Ferris and Megan will tell you something else happened. But, you know, this that's what happened. 